Uh, I've I've been really lucky in my career, you know, to in, in my my childhood uh, to have a lot of really good quality uh, coaches and um, and play alongside some really talented players during my time here at the Wanderers. But but growing up, you know, with, without without my parents, my my dad, my mum, and you know their sacrifice, uh, a five o'clock driving through peak hour to drive me to training because I didn't have a car back then, and you massively took it for granted back then. You wish you could just thank him every single day, and and but you look back now and you think you couldn't have really done it without them. I, I asked my dad, you know, I was I was 16, I think, and I was about to get my my first car, my my P's, my license when I was 17. Um, and he was saying to me this could be you know, the last few trips we do together driving to Sydney Olympic training at the time. Obviously I played an NYL season um, when I was 18, 19 and through all those successes with that first NYL year when we won it, um, they were always behind me and, and then once I signed my first pro contract that was that meant so much to, to not only me but to them. Um, the sacrifices kind of paid off in, in a sense. And I remember when I, when I was young, he said to me, well, something in particular moment where I was nine, 10 years old, I believe, and I was, I was driving, he was driving me to an academy. He said like, all the other kids are just training as well. You know, if you just want to do the same amount as them, well, you're only just going to be, I guess, as good as them. Um, so, it's up to you whether you want to do more. He goes, I'll tell you, like, I'll drive you over, I'll be your taxi, he said, but it's up to you at the end of the day. And that was really at nine, 10 years old. And that's when I knew that I listened to him and I said, you know what, I want to do it and I want to do it myself and I want to do it for my family. Even at that age, I remember that vividly, yeah. And it means a lot to me too.